I'm Barry Chandler, co-founder and principal at StoryForge. Welcome to today's video. In the 1990s, John Doerr, famed venture capitalist and chairman of Kleiner Perkins, Caulfield & Byers, invested uh, $25 million together with Sequoia Capital in return for 20% of Google. 20% of Google in the 1990s. That investment of $25 million is now worth $140 billion. But John Doerr knew what he was doing. And John Doerr had a strategy for how to pick the investments that would, over the long term, give the greatest return. And we only have to look at their investment portfolio over the years to really uh, uh, gut check that, to see if, if he really had a formula for, for picking these winners. John Doerr and, and, and Kleiner Perkins were early investors in Electronic Arts, in Compaq, in AOL, in Amazon.com. The list goes on and on. It's an incredible portfolio. And John Doerr has been in, uh, interviewed many, many times. And he often, he often gets asked, what makes a successful entrepreneur? And he always answers the same way. He basically says that there are two types of entrepreneurs. There are mercenaries and there are missionaries. Mercenaries are the type of entrepreneur that are driven by motivation and, and drive. They are always looking for the deal. They're looking for the sell. They hustle hard. Uh, but in doing so, they're looking for short-term wins. They're not looking to build relationships. These are mercenaries who go after something with a, a, just a cutthroat approach to business. On the opposite side, you've got missionaries. And missionaries are not just driven by drive itself or by hustle. Missionaries are driven by a bigger purpose, a, a problem that they want to solve in the world. And missionaries tend to typically take a long-term view of things. They look to build relationships. They look to invest in people. Uh, they have something that keeps them up at night because they have a problem to solve. It's not about how much money they can make. It's about how many problems they can solve and alleviate for other people, knowing that they'll make money as a result of that. When John Doerr gets asked which one he'd rather invest in, he says, give him the choice every time, it would be the missionary. And John Doerr's investment portfolio and his, his track record really speaks for itself. Companies that over the long term have achieved amazing financial success, but have also shaped our culture. They've, they've added meaning to lives. They've solved global problems. So what are you? Are you a mercenary? Are you looking for the deal? Are we looking for the sell? Are we all about the products, the services, and getting the next one out the door? Or are you a missionary? Are you somebody who has driven by a purpose, an innate uh, need that you see in the world? Like you, you, you experience this problem yourself. You're looking to solve it. You want to solve it for everybody. Is that the thing that drives you? Will you stop at nothing until you've solved that? Do you build relationships along the way? So if we want to uh, replicate the successes of people like John Doerr and many others who, uh, who recognize that long-term strategies outperform short-term wins every time, then we really have to be the missionary, not the mercenary. Your clients, your employees, your community, all of your stakeholders, and ultimately your shareholders will thank you for it. Be the missionary, not the mercenary.